the 25-year-old Sava Primary School has no single permanent structure, no electricity. The school recently constructed two classrooms from zinc on top of the two existing structures. The principal says the school is not considered a priority by the Directorate of Education, Arts and Culture because of its lower numbers of learners. 2019, I was promised, we're coming, we're going to build for you. Unfortunately, COVID outbreaks started. So now the excuses which are there is COVID-19. So we understand COVID-19 is there, but this should not be excuses. We should come forth so that we can meet halfway and bring facility to this poor children. Kazanga says the directorate's promises to construct a permanent structure at the school have not materialized making it ever more challenging to attract either teachers or children. The good part is that if we have that 146 and keep them at our school, and uh, introduce curriculum extension, and we keep our learners, the school is going to grow. The only problem is that if we have no good facilities, we we'll keep on shipping our learners to other schools, then the school is going to be empty. There's going to be no learners in the school. The school has four teachers and 71 learners from grades 0 to 3. Kazanga was speaking at the handover of stationery and fencing material donated by a fishing company, Cerovero, valued at $70,000. Contacted for comment, Kavango West Regional Council spokesperson Salomo Tenga says Saba is among the many categorized as non-economical schools in the region. Tenga therefore says there are no plans to construct permanent structures at that school in the current budget. He noted that the region received an allocation of only $1.8 million for construction of classrooms this financial year.